We've finally reached the climax of the Kangen Omega Purgatory vs Kangen tournament, the battle between Oma from Team Kangen and Lolong from Purgatory. Who will win? My predictions, some overall thoughts, hope you enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, let's begin. Throughout the whole tournament, Lolong has received endless amounts of hype. Why is this? Most likely because he's the strongest fighter on Purgatory. We did learn that he has the title of King due to being the champion of last year's Ultimate Gladiator Playoffs, the Purgatory equivalent of the Kanganustra Annihilation Tournament. We don't know who he faced to get that title, but it's assumed he's the strongest fighter. All this other stuff I talked about in previous videos. Regarding his fighting style, we had Kazi saying this in an earlier chapter, Lolong is most likely an all-rounder fighter that leans towards soft techniques. This could be the case, but to be honest, Kazi has been throwing a lot throughout this tournament, so the thing is, we don't know. In the most recent chapter with his walkout, we got his nickname, the Monster of Manila, with Manila being the capital of the Philippines, so most likely, Lolong is a Filipino fighter. Now, let's have a look at some Filipino martial arts. The National Martial Art of the Philippines goes by these four names. I'm just going to be calling it Kali throughout today's video. This martial art focuses on a large variety of fighting styles, such as stick fighting, knife fighting, sword fighting, and unarmed combat. Learning about this made me come up with a pretty interesting theory. Throughout the whole tournament, Lolong has been shitting on Yumi, in particular regarding his martial art skill. As we know, Yumi uses the human weapon fighting style, similar to one of the first Kangen fighters in history. Take note that the human weapon fighter from the past faced this person, who looks very similar to Oma and was the winner of the first Kangen match, which may explain who Oma is a clone of as we recently learned Oma and Roki are clones, or at least according to Faye before his death. But going back to Lo Long, on the wiki page for the Filipino martial art Kali, we see that it has a parenthood with the sport fencing and the martial arts salat. As we know, Misa uses salat. But fencing was kinda implemented in Nicholas's fighting style, with Lolong being the one in series to explain all of this. Respecting and kinda praising Nicholas's proficiency and skill at using this fighting style, but also shitting on Yumi in the same regard when I believe Tarashi mentioned Yumi. So my theory is thanks to this information about Kali that he is using this fighting style and that the way Lolong will be using it is similar to Yumi's human weapon fighting style, but of course Lolong's mastery will be perfect and have some insane thing. Yumi was kinda all around the place his bits and pieces as he was also a collector of various martial Martial art moves and skills, while well, I think Lo Long will be more focused down and have perfect mastery over a few specific elements. Regarding the unharmed combat version of Kali, it focuses more so on joint locks and grappling, so Kazi may have been right about him using soft styles, but yeah, this is just an interesting theory and it's kinda recreating the first Kanga match as Oma is most likely related to the first person who won the Kanga match, and Lolong may be an evolved version of the human weapon fighter which was defeated. So yeah, that's just an interesting theory I came up with. A lot of Filipino chats in the comments were talking about, I believe, dirty boxing being like a Filipino indigenous martial art. That would be pretty cool if Lolong was using something like that in combination with Kali, or maybe combines various Filipino martial arts together to have like individual katas, which will be used to counter Omer's Nico style katas during their fight. That could be something interesting as well. Regardless, Lolong will most likely have insane foresight or pre-initiative. We already kind of saw glimpses of that when he was shitting on Nicholas and Justice Boy to stop their match. Apart from that, we've seen him be very analytical, very intelligent, pretty much eyes closed and pretty much knowing more than anyone on Team Purgatory about what's going on. So yeah, definitely a big brain chat as well. But yeah, crazy stuff to come from Lolong. Now let's talk a little bit about Omar. He was called the final Tiger Vessel by Faye, so he's kind of meant to surpass Faye at this point. Training for two years with the Korea Clan, or at least one year with daily matches with Korea Ryan, of course that's going to help. We haven't really ever seen a full health, full memory return to Omar, so that's going to be great. He's probably evolved the advanced somewhat to use more output with more Nico style techniques. Of course, Oma possesses the Demon's Bane, the, you know, best technique in the whole series, or at least I think so, quite broken. And just much more to see from Oma, the protagonist of the previous series. All this hype ever since his return in Chapter 50, it's going to be great. But who do I think will win and how will the fight play out? 
So firstly, of course I want Kangen to win so we don't have any future Purgatory matches and all the Purgatory fighters join Kangen and any future fights are in a Kangen setting where killings allowed, there's no ring outs and all that other knockdown bullshit rules. So of course I want Oma to win. I'm praying the tournament doesn't get cut short and we actually see the climax. Even if Lolong does win and Purgatory does absorb Kangen, I just hope it doesn't get cut short by the Tiger Nico doing some crazy stuff. That would be a pretty big Big disappointment if that was the case but I don't think this is going to happen I think for the next eight to ten chapters it's gonna be solely focused on this fight based on this line we got from Kazi in chapter 129 go out there and give us a fight so good that the schemes of either promotion and the worm don't matter anymore so with that line alone I don't think this fight is going to get cut short and we will see an ending but what are the specifics of the fight so for the large majority, I think Oma is going to be relying on Nico style spam to just keep up with the likes of Lolong. Lolong just chilling with a 10 pack is going to be an absolute monster. I don't think Lolong will have any connection to the Worm or any other characters. I think he's just going to be his own cracked out martial artist from the Philippines who became too strong with his whole existence consisting of absolutely clapping people in fights at this point. But of course, this is Kangen. He could be like another Nico style user. He could be related to the Tiger Nico, as a lot of people have been talking about. Who knows what Sandovich is going to do, but I just think he's going to be unrelated to all of the events, of course, connecting to this line from Kazi again. So, Lolong, even though I think Oma is going to win, it'll be very clear that Lolong as a whole is stronger. I believe he's going to counter Demon's Bane better than what Kuroki did. As we know, Kuroki countered Demon's Bane but pretty much got his whole left or right arm destroyed in the process. I have a feeling that Lolong will be more of a counter fighter who perfectly counters all these Nico style carters with his own, you know, Kali move. Similar to Kuroki where he'll know the perfect timing to throw an attack to do the most damage or as much damage as possible. I'm expecting to see a Kuroki statement about Lolong potentially saying he's on my level or I can't even defeat this person which would be absolutely insane. But Oma will win by using the Demon's Bane. Lolong will counter it but not perfect, a better counter than what Kuroki did. But in the process it will give Oma an opening to potentially ring Oma out. That's how I think the fight's going to end. It's going to be Oma ringing Lolong out. But another possibility is this fight as well could be a draw and that there won't be an extra fight and the whole tournament will just be a draw as a whole as the Worms will invade shortly after that and neither of the promotions will combine together and that they will continue to stay separate and we'll have characters like Nitoku joining Purgatory and maybe some fighters from Purgatory joining Kangood or something interesting like that or maybe they'll just half combine or something interesting like that. That could happen if a draw occurs but I do think Oma is going to defeat Lolong with a ring out. So yeah this is my prediction. If you haven't already make sure to join the discord to talk more about King Greatness. Follow the Twitter if you're an absolute mad lad and as always shout out to the people who support the channel via the Patreon. Hope you enjoyed. That's it guys. Peace.